What's up people welcome back to Internesh. I moved to Adelaide just over a month ago and I had a lot of questions about Adelaide before moving here and a lot of you guys had requested to make a video on Melbourne versus Adelaide comparing the lifestyle in Melbourne and Adelaide and that's why today I have Harnoor with us. Harnoor has been living in Adelaide for a year now. He is studying in University of Adelaide and he is going to tell us things about Adelaide and I am going to compare it with Melbourne. So if you're an international student wanting to know how is the life in Melbourne or Adelaide, this video is just for you. So check it out. Melbourne's population is 5.1 million and Adelaide's population is 1.3 million. So before moving here, one of the perceptions that I had about Adelaide is that it is regional area. It cannot be extremely developed. And when I came here, that was a myth that I had. Right? So you have been living here for a year now. What do you have to say about Adelaide? So I guess you were not alone. So okay. many people before moving here in Adelaide have this perception that yes, this is a smaller city as compared to Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. So this would be a regional area. But this is not actually true. We have, mm -hmm. we have good quality of gyms, we have good quality of clubs, parks, education, good quality of transportation system. Nice. We have trams, metro, buses connecting all parts of Adelaide. Yeah. Uh, so we have a Rundle Mall here where you can find all the brands. I'm sure you must have visited yeah. the Rundle Mall. Yeah. We have like big showrooms uh, for cars like Ferrari, BMW and true. more are adding actually into the Adelaide. Yeah, I, I did not expect that um, you guys would have all the brands. In fact, when I was when I was walking through Rundle Mall, I think it's like it's like 500 meters or a one yeah. kilometer long street exactly. where there are just like shops and malls yeah. and things like that. So I think that was pretty exciting. But let's talk about um, rent specifically. Right. So if you talk about Melbourne, uh, if you are living in Melbourne CBD, you are paying anywhere around like 250 to 300 dollars per week. Right. Because it's in the heart of city and it's Melbourne. So it's, it's going to be expensive. Uh, but I'm right now living in Adelaide CBD and I am paying around 200 dollars a week. If I live in suburbs in Melbourne, I would pay around 180 dollars a week. So how is the rent in Adelaide? So uh, actually I'm living uh, in the first suburbs uh, okay. which is called Prospect. Uh, it is like four kilometers away from the Adelaide CBD okay. and I'm paying around $150 per week including all utilities. Okay. So uh, as you move far farther away from the Adelaide CBD, you'll pay much lesser amount. Like you right. can find the rooms within $120 per week including uh -huh. all utilities. Yes, that is okay. actually a very big point for Adelaide. Right. Like uh, the cost of living here, the yeah. rent particularly, is very less as compared to the big cities like Sydney and Melbourne. That is so yeah. true. That is really exciting. So Melbourne is an education state and you name the university they have it. There's like Monash University, University of Melbourne, Deakin, Latrobe, CQ, CSU, RMIT. It's there are so many universities and that's why there are that many more international students. Right. So what is it like in Adelaide? So, yes, we, we do not have that amount of universities, but we have very good quality of universities okay. like University of Adelaide, University of South Australia, right. Flinders, Torrance. Okay. These are the four big universities here in Adelaide. So in my personal experience, like most of your friends would be from your college, but right. uh, you can uh, in our universities, you can find a lot of diversities. Uh, I have a lot of friends from different as ethnicities and okay. nationalities. Right. So, yeah, so uh, people from different countries do come to Adelaide uh, right. for study. Okay. Uh, yes, we do. We are not known as an education state, but we are known as the festival state. Okay. So, yeah, so there, there's a uh, festival called Adelaide Fringe. It's a one month long festival. And it's the biggest festival of the Southern Hemisphere. Right. So uh, you have events covering arts, festival, lifestyle, food, you name it, you have it. Okay. So yeah, it's a month long festival and the whole city is lit up in lights and it's so good. That is so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had no idea about this. Yeah, many people don't have. <laughs> that is, what is it called? Fringe. Adelaide That's Fringe. Adelaide Fringe. Yeah. And I think um, it is the largest in Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. That is so exciting. Okay, so um, if you guys are thinking about coming to Adelaide, well, there is um, enough things for you guys to do. In fact, I have been out for a couple of weeks now and I was able to find um, a lot of really good shops if you're into shopping or even like good bars and pubs just to hang out with your friends. So definitely those are the things and I was wrong. Like I didn't think it would be this exciting, but it is turn out, turning out to be pretty good. Um, let's talk about jobs. Right. I'm sure a lot of um, international students who are planning to come to Adelaide or just like researching, they have these questions. By the way, before we get into jobs, 
If you guys haven't liked this video, hit the like button and you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into jobs, right? So you were able to find a job in first month that you were here, right? Yeah. But but I, I would say that is rare. Yeah. So what job you're doing and um, what job your friends are doing and how hard it was for them to find a job. Yeah, I, I would like to say that the journey to find a job actually varies from person to person. Okay. Uh, like, I got a job within three weeks in IT industry. Okay. But yeah, I would say that is a rare opportunity. Yeah. Many of my friends found it difficult to find a job, but ultimately they, they found a job. Many okay. of my friends are working like in Uber Eats, in pizza shops. One of my friends is working as an IELTS tutor. Okay. So yeah, so the job opportunities are there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it gets uh, it gets hard to get the jobs. That is so interesting. Yeah, because a lot of questions that we have received is regarding like how is the job scenario in Adelaide. What we are going to do is we are going to make a, another video with Harnoor of his experience. How did you get a job in IT? So if you guys want to see that video, write it in the comment section. What are your questions? Even if you have questions about Melbourne or Adelaide, write it in the comment section so that we can respond to those comments and specifically make videos on those topics. And the last thing that I wanted to cover was things to do, right? Um, Melbourne has a lot of um, weekend getaways. Like you can go to Great Ocean Road or you can go to Mornington Peninsula or things like that. And I personally love it. Like just rent a car or if you have bought a car, just go drive and, you know, have fun. I've heard that Adelaide has a lot of wineries. Yeah. What else is there in Adelaide to do? So we also have a lot of we can get get okay. this. <laughs> yeah. So it's like uh, we we have like Mount Lofty. You can go to Hand Off. You can go to beaches. Uh, you, you have a lot of places to go to, and you will never fall short of uh, short of it at any weekend. That is yeah. so interesting. Amazing. Guys, hope you love this video. If you have any specific questions about Melbourne or Adelaide, write it in the comment section. Harnoor will respond to those comments. I'll respond to those comments so that we can answer your questions. If you have any specific topics for next videos, write it in the comment section as well. Hope you love this video and found the information helpful. If you haven't liked this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.